Welcome to Celtech. Today we're going to talk about LSG load support grid. We are going to use the load support grid in a grassy paved situation off of a brick driveway for overflow parking. We're going to excavate out five inches deep. We're going to install a four inch LSG load support grid. Under the load support grid, instead of using geotextile fabrics, we are going to use what we call geo grid. This will allow the root system to continue to grow down past the five inches because the key to a good lawn is good root system. We use sod staples to hold this down so it doesn't pull up while we're expanding out the grid. Cut off excess areas and be sure to do at least one foot overlap when you're rolling out the geo grid. The tighter you pull these products and the better you pin them down, the better result in the end. The spray paint marks represent where we're going to put sod staples to hold the geogrid to the earth. Once you lay out all the geogrid, it is now time to install the cell tech. We are using an LSG 4 inch cell. We are going to fill this cell with a mixture of stone and soil to get a large load rating. In combining the geogrid, cellular confinement, washed aggregate, and topsoil, and this is all achieved in a 5 inch excavation cross section. And remember, it's very important to connect the LSG load support grid together. If you need to learn this, you can go on our website and watch the videos on connecting LSG. Once it's all laid out, you are now ready to install your J hooks. Pinning down the grid is very important when you're not going to put a hard surface over it. This will stop what we call creep from freezing and thawing. We're also going to install concrete inside the cellular confinement up against the brick edge to make this edge very strong. Now we're ready to infill. We are going to use a washed large pea gravel. This pea gravel is about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. This has very large voids in it so when we fill it with topsoil the soil will go between the voids and allow for root growth. The pea gravel is a hard silicon stone, it's not a limestone, so you won't have pH problems in your soil. And the stone will take the weight of the vehicle without crushing the root system. The root system is very important in lawns. We're going to use a very good organic topsoil, spread it around, and then what we do is hose it off. Allow about two to three weeks for it to infiltrate all the gravel underneath the job. After the soil is installed, you are ready to plant. You can use seeds, straw, or simply sod the whole area. Thanks for learning about grassy pave areas using LSG series load support grid. And have a great day. www.celltechdirect.com 888-851-0051